What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to some more Forza Horizon 12. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying to do... Well, not trying, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing a wheel spin drag build. Now this, of course, is part of the wheel spin series where pretty much the game randomly chooses a car for me to build. And in this case, I'm going to be doing it for drag racing. So let's try that out and see how well it's going to work for me. I have a bunch of wheel spins that I can use, which is cool, it's fine. Uh, I'm also gonna do this, just so I have my club next to my name. I have to do this every single time. I am, I think, the fifth club on this list without a person cheating their accolades in it. Pretty sure everybody else here, from 3.5 billion up, everybody has at least one person in their club that is cheating their accolade points. And I think I'm fifth in the world. Don Juan Song's there. The original AR12 club is there. I'm here. The fifth club in this game without a cheated person being in it. A person that is cheating their accolade points. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, let's try it. I'm going to do normal wheel spins. See what I get. Hopefully it's something interesting. Please be something interesting. Obviously, like I said, I have to build a stick. <laughs> okay. It's interesting. I'll take that. Now, the next spin, I'm going to add it to my garage, the next spin is going to determine the budget for my build. And the budget is the price of a Mark III Golf GTI VR6. My budget is 12,500 credits. 12,000, I didn't actually mean to spin again. I didn't, I didn't mean, to, mean to spin again. It's the same thing for that, anyway. 12,500 credits to build... It's Land Rover. Oh god, what's happening? Alright, take out the Land Rover, I guess. Series 3. It's got 69 horsepower, haha, <laughs> 69. Let's do a run with this thing, completely stock, and then let's see how 12 and a half grand is gonna benefit me with this car. I don't even know what, like, what should I do the, the, the drag race song? Should I do it on this, which is like a massive strip? <laughs> It's gonna be the slowest drag race ever. I kind of don't want to, to be honest with you. Is this the the shortest one? I don't even know how long this drag race is here. Oh man, I might have to do it on this strip here. I think this might be the shortest one. This one seems pretty long as well. Or it could be the same. This is. I'll, I'll do. It. I'll do it here. Why not? It's a little bit of a change of scenery, I guess. What is this? How long is this? Is it still the same thing? Oh no, it's it's a little less. It's 0.5 a mile. Okay, so it's a little shorter. Uh, I definitely don't want to do it in that season. Um, made it in the hot season. I've already made one of these events. Okay, we'll do it, we'll do it in Series 3. Completely stock. We'll see what sort of time we get. And then with 12 and a half grand, I have to go ahead and just transform this thing into, uh, into a rocket ship, pretty much. <laughs> this is going to be so bad. This is going to be so slow. I'm pretty sure the cars are highly skilled, the driver tower that I'm racing against. Oh god. I could probably even take a picture without even doing any of that. <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing. I can't believe that's a thing. Who made that? And I photographed exactly 420 cars so far. Jesus Christ! What is going on in this video? This is the bit. Th this is the biggest meme video I think I've I've ever come across. This guy's got 69 horsepower. I'm racing against the Supreme Reliant on a Fortnite BMW. I've taken pictures of 420 cars. Oh, I was so close to actually winning. Go, 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 go. I'm not winning this one. No, the Ford Transit's got me. This Ford Transit has got me. Wait, that's not too bad. Finish the second place. <laughs> okay. Second place it is. With 39. Oh, my God. 39.2. All right, let's just leave. I'm not doing that whole drag race again. That's just going to... Takes so long again to finish. All right, let's see with 12 and a half grand, how much faster can I make this thing? Can I even bring it to, to the top of D class with 12 and a half grand? I probably can. 
Um, all right, let's go over into the festival and let's just see. Oh man, this is gonna be stupid. This is just gonna be dumb. All right, hop over into custom upgrade. I kind of need just just need more power to be honest with you. I think the the most amount of power that I, ca I possibly can, I'm gonna add onto this thing. I can't even engine swap it. I can turbo it. That's probably the biggest amount of power that I could give this thing is if I just turbocharge this engine. I think so. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turbocharge it. I don't really need to change anything there. Aero, I don't need to change anything there. I just need to give this thing as much power as I possibly can. So give it the biggest possible turbo. Change the cabs, get the stick to rave even higher. I think those are the ones that give me the most amount of power per per cash, I guess. This gives me 16 horsepower, so that's useless. This gives me 11, so that's again useless. What about the carby? 11 for 2200? That's a little better. Um, exhaust, what's that do? 12 horsepower for 2 grand? Again, that's, that's not too bad. I might do that. Oh god. How, how have you used this thing? It only weighs 1,300 kilos. I mean, this is literally made out of plastic. But, yeah. I know it's not plastic, but I'm just saying. Um, what about weight? 2k again. Hmm. I'm at 8,400 right now. Again, the only thing I think that this guy actually genuinely needs right now is just more power. I might do exhaust. What about intake? 8 horsepower. 9. I'm just looking at what the best best price per performance. I think exhaust is next, right? It's this, 2k. So if I could do another 2,000 credit upgrade onto this thing. See, this is this is too much here. This is 1,500. Ooh, okay. Will that help me, though? My launching will be better. I can't even bring this thing to the top of the E-Class. That's the funniest thing. My acceleration will be better as well. I might do it. Yeah, let's just do that. So now I'm at exactly 12k. What else can I do for 500 credits? Anything. That's 650. That's 750. My god. Wait, no, I've already done that. Valves. That's a K. Pistons. That's a K. This. Pfft. Can I even do anything else? I don't even know if I can actually do anything else for 500 credits. Clutch. No, nope, that's 750. Transmission. 800 is the cheapest. Driveline. Nope. Diff. There's no point of even adding on a diff onto this thing. Can I probably just reduce more weight if I just do this? Some people say that I shouldn't count this as my upgrades, but I feel like I should because, it, especially for a car like this that's really low to D class, I feel like changing stuff like this is just going to give me. Uh, I don't know. Wheels, maybe? Maybe I could put some lighter wheels on this thing? No, they're way too expensive. There's literally nothing I can do for this thing. Every, everything is just going to make it slower. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to leave this like this. There's, there's nothing else I can really do for this guy. To get it to be better than what it is now. Anti-roll bars? Yeah, nothing. Literally nothing. Alright, cool. So we spent 12k. We still have 500 euro. Or 500 credits, I guess, left. We're going to get this thing to be a lot lighter. Again, it's still not even at the top of the class. What was it, like 39 seconds? Our, our run on that? Oh god. Can I even change anything? Can I adjust anything on this thing? I can adjust the, the tire pressure. Do I really want to adjust the tire pressure? I feel like this thing won't slip its wheels. I, I feel like if I, if I do this and I get these... The PSI as high as possible on this... It should technically mean less resistance. So, yeah, I was about to say, the top speed should then go up. Right? That, that makes more sense. I'm gonna do that, just because then our top speed increases by 0.1 mile an hour. <laughs> oh man, these numbers. Oh, Jesus, okay. So I was gonna say, this thing just doesn't have enough power to spin all, all four wheels. It's just not happening. So giving it as little resistance as I possibly can is probably beneficial. Alright, let's go do a run here. I feel like it should technically help it, like, accelerate quicker as well. You know, less resistance. And all that. Alright. Let's do a run with this thing. It's now 354 in D-Class with the PI. 
Jeez. I don't, I don't know, man. I think we built an absolute monster here. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's have a go with this thing. I'll, I'll do another car. I'll build another car after this. Just because I feel like this one, I just... Uh, there's just not much to do to it. With this amount of credits. Oh my god. Wait, he's starting way ahead of me. What the hell? This thing revving higher is making a difference. It's got a little bit more torque. I don't know why I'm driving so far to the right here. Come on, can I beat the transit this time? Come on. I can't. He's got a little bit more power at the top end. No. Oh, that was much better though. That was so much faster. 20, literally 10 seconds off. Jeez. Okay. I feel like I could probably beat him. <laughs> Try to try manual clutch. Maybe that'll help me. Let's do... Um, let's do... Uh, everything's off. Manual with clutch. Alright. I'm ready. I don't know how fast I can actually change gear with this thing. And the reason being is... It's a little closer this time, but I think he's still gonna win because again he's just got a little bit more power. Over at the top end. The 29 to beat. See if I beat it. With my manual clutch. It should be a little bit quicker. Yeah, 28.5. Jesus, almost half full sec half a second. Half a full second? Yeah, obviously. But he's now significantly faster than what he was the last time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's move on. We'll try a different build. Because that was just... That was mad. I'll do the super wheel spin that I have. I only have one of them. Oh, I'm in a wall. Brilliant. And then I'll do a... I'll do a build on that as well. Hopefully something decent. Please be something good. Please, 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 please. Come on. Give me something interesting. A Sierra RS. I like that. I like the Sierra RS. And I have a lot of money to spend on this thing. Which is pretty much the whole budget is the M3 and the 175 grand. I'm keeping that, selling this, so pretty much I have 200 grand to spend on the Sierra. Interesting. Alright, this should be fun. This should be very, very fun. You get this thing to be really, really fast then. Um, this is a good old Sierra. I love the Sierra. Sierra is so cool. Alright, I'm going to drive this thing um, just normal manual, not manual or clutch. Even though I probably could do just manual or clutch with this thing. Oh my god. It changes gears so much faster. See, the thing is, even if I do play manual with clutch, it still changes gears really, really slowly. It doesn't matter how fast I change gears on my controller, pretty much. It still changes gears incredibly slowly. And that's just because of the way the transmission is built, right? If I had like a proper transmission setup, if I had a better clutch system in this, it would change gears much faster. And that would also benefit me changing gears faster when I'm doing it on controller. If that makes sense, right? So if this is like super, super slow changing gears, me changing it with manual clutch makes a tiny difference. Instead of just having it with normal manual. But it's not going to make a gigantic difference, if that makes sense. You know? The biggest difference is obviously going to be the change of the clutches. That is literally going to be the biggest difference. So I'm going to go back just so I can have a nice, a nice variable here. Sorry, a nice constant here, not a variable. Instead of it being a variable, which is manual clutch, I want to keep it at a nice castle, which is just manual. So I know when I'm changing gears, I'll do it at the same time, every single time. Technically, automatic should be the best way to to time these cars perfectly. Because then I'll know exactly how much of a difference that makes. And it takes my driving out of the equation. Sierra's doing bits, though. Jeez. Okay, I want to take a picture of this as well, because it's just... Just for the sake of getting all this, all these cars literally just out of the way, pretty much. Is that it? El Camino? Alright, cool. Alright, we'll move on. We move on. Nothing's really catching me at all. Like, I'm just way ahead of everyone. 
Right, what sort of time was this put down? Is it faster than 29 seconds? Yes, it is. Not by much, though. Surprisingly, not by much. Yeah, not by much. All right, fair enough. Right, we move on. And this is a B-Class as well. Keep that in mind. It is also fully rear-wheel drive. Uh, I also think I'm going to keep it rear-wheel drive and just change tires instead of changing drivetrain. Um, because I've seen people tell me that I should just, you know, mess around with tires instead because I think they're cheaper and they just like if I do change tires to drag tires or drag radials um, I don't really need to have and I have like a good transmission setup I don't really need to make this thing all-wheel drive uh, for launching but obviously if I do make it also all-wheel drive I mean technically I have an unlimited budget so technically I can do whatever I want you know um, what sort of engine gives the most power output probably this one right the 5.8 liter V8 Twin turbo. We'll just have a look and see what sort of power this thing puts down. So again, grip-wise, if I go with full drag radials here, acceleration goes to 9.4. Uh, launch goes to 9.3 as well. And if I do that, then I go over to this, everything goes up to 10. So technically, it does actually help. My top speed goes down because it changes the transmission setup as well. So that's probably, that says that it's going down. So I'm going to put this on. So again, pretty much 200 grand to spend on upgrading or changing this thing. Uh, aero, I don't really want aero on this thing. Um, just gonna get rid of the wing, I guess. It looks so normal like this, without that wing. It's weird looking. Um, it already has a 6-speed installed. I'm probably just gonna keep that 6-speed. And pretty much everything else I'm going to buy just to make this thing faster and lighter. You know, it's just, just self-explanatory. Put off-road suspension. Um, and do that. There is obviously a basic tune that I will end up adding onto this thing. So it'll be as fast as possible. I will have to go around though and tune it properly whenever I go on the actual, you know, run itself on the drag strip. And I'll have to tune the transmission accordingly. But we'll have a look at that once we get there. Everybody else is pretty much bought for this, right? 1,000 horsepower, 1,200 newton meters of torque, weighs 1,200 kilos. So a 6.2 liter V8 in a twin turbo as well. Wait, is it twin turbo or single turbo? It's twin turbo. Uh, and it should do some decent times. It should do some decent stuff here. Uh, as for tire weight, I feel like this is just going to add weight. I don't think it's going to change. I don't think it's going to change much. Even my 0 to 60 like, like doesn't know if it wants to go down or not. This is more like for handling. We'll see. If I need to actually change those those tires, I probably will. But I don't think I need to right now. Um, as for wheels, I guess makes these as light as possible. Uh, what sort of wheels should I put on this thing? What sort of wheels should I put on this car? Obviously, minus 12 is the best. I'm just going to put these on. It doesn't really make so much of a difference anyway. All right. 1,100 kilos. Almost 1,200 kilos. Uh, but our power has just gone up literally five times as much power. This is what it has now. Just about. And now, with our tune, again, I will have to adjust everything. I'm just going to get rid of camber. Really quick here. I'm going to put caster as high as possible as well. This doesn't make too much of a difference. Uh, our right height, again, I will have to change pretty much everything here. And uh, even our center of balance, our front to rear. Torque distribution, I will end up changing that as well so I can get the best launch possible. I'm going to leave that the way it is now. Okay, I just wanted to get rid of camber. And I'm going to go ahead and do a run like this. Just see what sort of time I get. And then afterwards, like I said, I'll have to keep doing runs over and over and over again. As I adjust the transmission and everything else. And then, I'll show you guys the proper final run with this car. And we'll see what, time, what kind of time it puts down. But for right now, let's just try like this. Sierra... S1, 879 PI. It's going to be significantly faster. It's going to be much, much faster. So 20, what was it? 24 seconds, I think, the beat. So it's about four, four seconds, four and a half seconds, I think, quicker than the, than the Land Rover. Okay. Sounds great already. I can already hear it. Okay. Let's see what the launch of this thing is like. I didn't actually realize 
what those gear ratios were like. <laughs> I didn't actually pay attention when I looked at these. I didn't notice that the gear ratios looked like that. Why does it do that? I don't understand. My gear ratios are, are ruined. Do I literally have to make these as long as possible? Because I, I can't... I obviously can't drive it like that. What's six gear like? Can I make it go all the way? I know I don't need that much top speed, but I'm just going to, like, extend these quite a bit. I have to. I want to make it so it's a nice linear curve here to this graph. So it looks something like that. I don't know what my top speed is going to be. I'm going to leave it like that and just see what sort of top speed I actually reach with this thing. And then obviously I'll have to change it. That's pretty much how it works. Just see what sort of top speed I get to the end. Jesus. Oh my god. It's 227 at the very end. My god! This thing just shot off 13 seconds! Wow. Okay. Um, so 227 is my top speed. I need to work around that. So let's just see what I can do, I guess. Let's see what happens. I think this is the best I can do. 13726. I put all the drive tires as well to like unbeatable. I, I, I think that is pretty much the best that I can possibly do right now. This. I've done a lot of like tuning stuff to this car. I think my transmission is really good right now. Like it just accelerates off the line. It's got a tiny bit of slip. See, you know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to go back into my festival. I'm going to give it's slightly wider tires, especially on the back. So it doesn't have that slip. See if I can fix that. Um, and I'll try it again. See how much of a difference that actually makes. Just to give, just literally giving it the widest possible tires at the back. Um, and then see if that helps with my launch. It is slipping a little bit. As you guys have seen there. At the very beginning. So I kind of want to give it some, some thick boy tires at the very back. Should I do it at the front as well? I could possibly do it at the front. This thing is all-wheel drive, so we'll do that. Even though the front end of my car actually like lifts off the ground as I'm doing as I'm launching, because I've made it so just about I think 70% of the power goes to the rear wheels. It's better for when it's pushing itself off the line, and then when it's accelerating, it's just it's just better for the car. If I keep it at 50-50 uh, torque distribution, so 50% of the power going to the front wheels, 50 going to the back wheels. I don't think it's gonna launch as well. I think the front wheels are just gonna slip a bit too much, trying to pull the car along. Whereas if I make it so a little bit more power go to, goes to the back wheels instead of the front, I feel like it's uh, it's just better at accelerating. So let's just see what it's like now. It's probably still going to slip a little bit, but is it going to slip as much as it did before? That is the question here. I think I got it just the right amount because if I make it so first gear is just a tiny bit longer, it, it, then it just like sort of it doesn't bog down, but it's I don't know if I I feel like it accelerates a little bit slower off the line if that makes sense. So I think right now, with this amount of slip, it's perfect. It's only a little bit as well. That DeLorean is much faster. Ah, oh, that doesn't count, that doesn't count. I don't want to drag... I don't want to, like, draft off another person, because that's just going to ruin my time. That is just going to ruin my time completely, so let's, let's retry that one. A short shift to back accident there as well. Then it shifted too late there. I think that one might have been slower. I crashed as well at the very beginning. Yeah, 791. That wasn't the best. Let's try that one again. Let's try that again. That one was pretty good. That one was a little bit better, I think. 
That one was a lot better. 705. That is the best time I've done so far. 13705. I told you guys, the, the difference of the tires is, is, is really, really good. It just makes a big, big difference. But I do like a full proper run. All right. I'm going to leave it there with low 13.7s. I'm pretty much getting consistent low 13.7s. It's just the perfect spot on like point where you have to shift and obviously not let this thing slide off to the left or right to crash into any of the, any of the other cars. So trying to do that as well as trying to change gears at the perfect time is kind of hard. But like I said, low 13s. The low 13 sevens is what I've been getting consistently. It's, it's, it's very, very similar. Anyway, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think I'll leave it there. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. You enjoyed the build on the Sierra. I still had a lot more money left over, I think, but the Sierra came out to be a really, really good drag car. Some people may, may get some better times and stuff like that with this car. Some people may not. However, I just wanted to do this build with pretty much whatever knowledge I have of building drag cars in this game and uh, this is pretty much how it turned out so if I could use launch control I think I can get this thing to launch even better anyway doesn't matter that's it thank you guys very much for watching if you want to see more videos like this on the channel then please subscribe because it helps out a lot also like comment whatever it is you guys want to do do it to this video and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one hopefully anyway Goodbye, everyone.